G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, where the sun has just risen and I'm left standing in a rather depressing place. Today is moving day, so we're very optimistic about where we're going to end up, what new base I'm going to be able to find, but also a little bit melancholy that everything I had built until now is now packed away into a box. I've been making a lot of hard decisions. All of this in here are all the things I'm going to take with me to hopefully a new city somewhere out to the east. That's all the most important things I could think of. And I've actually gone through and like all the ammo that I was using, like the, uh, oh, you too, actually. I'll scrap you as well. All like the shotgun ammo and whatnot. All the things that I wasn't using that had some sort of value, I've scrapped and chucked in. So I've got a bulk amount of lead now. All my brass is in there, which is good. More coming as well from those 44s and all the different parts and repair kits that I might need later on. I did have to make the tough choice of leaving a couple of these things behind, some steak and spuddies, and I suppose I'm leaving you behind as well. I mean, may as well scrap you too. All right, there we go. Told you, making hard decisions, leaving nothing of value behind. Everything's coming with me in some sort of form. I forgot to make room for my hammer, but I'm kind of hoping that once I hand in the quest to Trady across the road, once the sun is finally up enough and he rolls out of bed, the sign is definitely still off, so not just yet. That might open up another slot that I may not have accounted for. But all of that's in there, all of you are ready to be sold, so I'll take you with me. Oh, goodbye, base. Goodbye, base. I've loved living in you, and you know what? I've turned what used to be a burned-out hulk, a shell, into something actually pretty viable, even with the coffees and frothies balcony. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. It'd be rude not to. It'd be rude not to for the last time. Grab yourself a cheeky froth and a cheeky cough, because we're going to have to send out this morning the right way. Pants off and jacket. Get it in. Get it in. Cheers to you, sunshine. How are ya? I did leave myself some notes before I go. I now have... I've read enough books as my vision finally clears up. Thank you. I've now read enough books that have actually unlocked some steel tools. I didn't really realize it, but I can now make a tier one steel axe, which actually sounds bloody fantastic if I'm only rolling a tier two fire axe. What am I missing for you? Forged steel. I have some of that actually in my bike outside. I'll grab some of that. What else do I need? Got plenty of leather. Duct tape. Yeah, now we're all fine there. Just a bit of splinters as well. Uh, steel. You. Go and whack one of you on the craft in the, uh, in the workbench. Actually, I need to take the workbench with me as well. Can't leave you behind. Steel axe. Boom. Get your cracking along. That one's now done. Make a new rifle, a new spear, which I did want to do. But now I'm second guessing because it's still only a tier four and my rifle is still only a tier two, which is better than what I'm currently rolling for both. But I'm so close. I'm so close. I'm a sniff away from getting a tier five spear and an even equally sniff away from getting a tier three rifle. So I reckon waiting for those is probably the best option, even if probably not a great idea. Oh. Old matey pa tradey potato even. Oh, god damn it. It has opened up. I was so excited I fell off my own roof. Right. Uh, do I have everything on me I need to? I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, we're all gravy. Before I go, though, I did just notice I have two skill points to spend. Let's go. I mean, yeah, all right. Yeah, if there's ever a time, I suppose it's now. Daring adventure. I'll whack you in and... Ooh, I mean, I'm pretty well stocked on skill points in here. I can't go any higher on quick and perceptive just yet. Broomstick, Skull Crusher, minus 69, a mother load. Ooh, a lot of good options that I do kind of want. Do I want to go heavy armor? No, I probably want to go light armor, don't I? Uh, running guns would have got one. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You can take that one too. All right. You're still working away. Another minute left on you. Let's go see Trady, sell some stuff. Probably not buy anything, but even so, free my inventory. As always, just in case, we'll check the Vendo for more sugar butts and still no lockpicking candy. They, I swear they're so rare now. That's why I'm taking my one lockpicking candy with me far across the, the world. Uh, Painkillers, Hunter's Journal, Wooden Bow, Muffled Collectors, uh, Connectors even mod. I'm just all at sea today. I've already got a bow. I've already got a bow, and it's better than yours is so no not for a tier 4 fetch and clear this is all you're giving me have they nerfed the trade rewards because i feel like i'm getting stitched up with this i'll take 
I'll take you and I'll sell you straight back to you. Just to free up the space. Take all of that, all of that, all of that. You, you, and you. Another stack of cash on me. Probably could have used my XP gogs for that, but that's okay. Nothing really exciting in here. All right, Knackers. Well, I'd say it's been a pleasure, but that might be a bit of a stretch. It's been back. a time. It's been a time. I'm not super thrilled about seeing you again. I've got everything even mildly valuable already stacked in my mini bikes, all my ammo stuff, all my ammo creation stuff, my Jew collectors, my wood, Terror the Turret, and same with the Sledge, and my Tier 5 rifle. All right, yeah, I think that's all good to go. Up we go. Let's go grab the rest of it. Oh, I might have to leave my bike behind, though. Like, my bicycle. Oh, that's going to be a bit unfortunate i'll lock you guys in place please i don't know why they weren't already one two four five take the fat stack of 20 grand nice okay well dang i was one shot my math was off by one who if anyone is surprised you really shouldn't be i'm gonna leave you behind i can get myself some more meat that'll be all good although I do still need one more slot. I need one more slot near somewhere for my workbench. Shit. My old iron fire axe was, what, 53 for a cost of 19? You're doing 86 for a cost of 30. So, I mean, it's a lot more effort to swing this big behemoth, but I'm doing so much more damage out of it. It's definitely worthwhile. Modify you. Whack in you guys. Thank you. I will just scrap you for the iron. That should be fine. Take you guys back out of there so I don't lose you or leave you behind. Okay. What... What am I going to do? What needs to get sacrificed for the greater good? I reckon the nails. I reckon the nails. I'll take that. I'll take you. Chuck the iron away. And that should be everything. And then we're ready to rock and roll. It's going to be a good day. There is truly a lot of stuff that's getting left behind. Like all of my food stuffs, a fair bit of materials, uh, a lot of mods that didn't have a home. So if I ever need some mods, I can come back and grab some out of you. But I think, I think that'll do. I think that'll do. All right. Well, Goodbye, house. <laughs> well, I wasn't here long, but I enjoyed my time. Goodbye, reading corner. All right, let's go. Let's go. Enough faffing about because the sun's already risen so much further than I wanted it to. You, can you hold anything for me? There's no extra space. What's not really necessary? You're probably not really necessary, so I'll get rid of you just so I can take my beloved bicycle with me. I'm going to need you if I run out of fuel. One last thing before we go. Chuck my rifle. I was going to say on the ground, but it's sticking into the dirt, apparently. Make eye contact. There you go. And just fill myself up with some fluids. The last slurp of the Slurpy Pond. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm, <laughs> I'm nervous. If I don't find something today, I'm going to be spending the night under a tree somewhere, cowering under the chain of my mini bike. Not going to be a super great idea. All right. That's all she wrote. Goodbye, house. Jump on the mini bike and away we go. I've got a full tank of gas. I have no reserve petrol, so I gotta find it in one fell swoop. Oh, I'm heading straight into the wasteland. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Leaving the warm, cuddly arms of the pine forest and heading out into the destitute world of the wasteland with the bears and the nightmares and everything that's bad. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure this will be okay. Oh, God, and as if on cue, there's a bloody zombie bear just traipsing about blocking the road, you big bastard. Look at you, I'm like a wandering roadblock. Nah, absolutely not, not having a bar of you. I'm not stopping for anything. It'd have to be, I don't know, like a guaranteed M60 or something to pull me off of my mini bike right now. I'm pinning the throttle and pinning the ears back. No stop. Can't stop this train. There's no brakes. Oh, get aim. I reckon that looks like a town for me just over there. There's a big billboard with a couple of buildings. And it's on the main highway. So I reckon that is a pretty decent shout. Uh, oh, geez. All right. Someone shouted on a landmine. Never mind. Then I'm going to keep on carrying on. I'm kind of right next to the pine forest over there. So I do need to leave the waste on this. I can go that way. But a quick little gander, a quick little squeeze about the wasteland city or town or whatever this place is. Just have a little squeeze about and see what we can find. Who knows? Maybe Jen's out here somewhere and definitely worth saving. Yeah, right. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I've been tempted by loot. Oh, I don't like the wasteland at all, especially not at the moment. Sick. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. What fucking kick-ass loot that was. There's like a whole trauma center set up in that car park just there. And a police car? Absolutely not. Absolutely bloody not. I am not tempting fate like that <laughs> ever. Especially not right now. Cool looking firehouse. That could be a cool place to live, but not in the wasteland. If I can find something like that, 
in another city in any other biome, I would be all about it. That road is blocked, so let's chuck a little Rui past the nightmare fuel. Oh, I thought I keep seeing flags. I keep seeing the flags getting excited about it. The new non-trader flags are just a tease. I've somehow left the town and ended up back on a highway. That I, oh, it's a bear that wasn't really anticipating. We're going off-road. We're going off-road. I can't fight a bear. I'd rather fight the shrubbery. Oh, just weave through all the things because vehicles do take damage now. Nah, we're fine. Oh, oh, we're definitely fine. Is this a trader bob again? I reckon it might be. Nackers, I don't have a whole lot of time to chinwag. If you want to give me something real quick, I'd love it. There's your gyro. There's your cement mixer. With some forger head books. Thank you. Don't have any space for the concrete, but I'll take the clay. All right. All right. Give me knowledge. Give me power. I've climbed up his tower to try and see what I can see, and there's not a lot of anything that I can see. I've come over that mountain and come all the way to here. So I'm on the far... Uh-oh. I'm on the far side. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. There we go. <laughs> Turns out trying to hit a pelican, not my strong suit. I've come a long way to the other side of the town already. That's the border for it. So I'm going to go further out there. I think I can see some silhouettes of some pine forest trees out there. It's hard to tell and there's no real road that takes me there. But that's the way I want to go, I think. After I've had a chat to old mate. Once again, no lock picking candy in your vending machine. Never mind then. I will have a quick look. Ooh, any special jobs? Opening trader routes. That's the same trader he was before. So no, absolutely not. What do you have that you can give me though? Ooh, a steel axe. It's here too. I could afford it, but nah, it's fine. Steel shovel for 15 grand. Could also afford that, but I'm saving me pennies. What books do you have? I can hear a bear outside as well. It's just really throwing me off. Pistol people, volume four. 20% slower. I could chuck in, actually. Ooh. Yeah, all right. Hang on. Hang on. Let me chuck in one of you. Let me also chuck in one of you. Free up one inventory slot. Um, you just wait till later as well. It's the least valuable. So if I lose it, oh well. Because I want to buy you. And I want to buy... Like basically all of you. Why not? Let's it's not be stingy. Really Knowledge is power. You Get all of that into your face. Read the next two as well. We're only passing through here once. Let's make the most of it. Oh, gunpowder as well. Gratitude. He's got a steel spear for eight grand. A tier four steel spear. I've been yearning for a tier four iron spear. I could just skip to steel. Oh, and a tier four lever action. So 20 grand and it does all the things I wanted to do. That's less tempting because I'm already like, I'm... About to make a tier 3, I think. It's the same mod level as that. But a tier 4 steel spear is a no-brainer. I will take you. Thank you very much. I've got all the boosts going for me anyway. Uh, that is still tempting me quite a lot. And I can't afford it. Maybe. Maybe. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Give us a tickle. I'm just logging through the rest of your governs. Uh, not really much any through them. I reckon... I reckon I should. I reckon I should. A tier four lever action. The big jump up. Not really a big jump, I suppose. It's like a, a level or two in the future, but really just hedging my bets and I can get more money later. Mm, yeah. Much obliged, stranger. It's probably controversial, but I'm going to stand by it as best I can. Do you have anything I can quickly just chuck some gubbins into so I can sort out my life, please? Here. Hold on to that. Thank you. And it changed some things over. I think what's probably most upsetting about that is that I left a lot of mods back at home. You can have that one off me. Gratitude. I should just scrap you for the Same rifle part. I got some more of those right there. That's all good. Okay. Anything else from you before I go? I've got a couple more seconds left on my buffs. Generator bank, steel lag, spotlights, no. I spent so much money today. Still with not the XP gogs on. That was another. I should just like I should just change you. I should just change you over. I don't really need the uh NVGs on right now. High power 762s. Mm, in fact, do you have a mod that I can chuck on my new rifle at all? Mods? Nah. Nah. Okay. I think I've overstayed my welcome because I'm running out of time. I can no longer hear the bear, which worries me. Alright, cheers, Come mates. Back tomorrow. We get new goods yeah, nah, no whackers. Not sure how I ended up with two empty spots there, but I've picked up everything I think I, I threw down. Oh, because I ate the cheesecake, and then... Yeah, no, nah, okay. Yeah, okay. That's, I think that's fine. I think we're all good. Where did I leave my bike? Was it over this side? Yeah, there it is. There it is. There might be a pair outside, but... In fact, hang on a second. How do you look? 
How do you look with the purple dye? You look fantastic. You look fantastic. My big new spear in, on, oh, and a bear as well. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. I've got to turn left. Oh, there's more bears. There's always more bears. I can definitely see some pine forest trees out there. You know what? I'm going to risk it for that lovely, delicious chocolate coated biscuit. Get all the way out there. I do have the book that means that I don't set off landmines. I think that applies to bikes as well. We're about to have very abruptly learned that lesson if it doesn't. There it is. We made it. We made it. Not even a worry in the world. We are all nice and good. I need to check my map in a moment just to see where the dickens I've ended up. But I'm back in the green stuff, back where it's mildly safer. Jeez, that has been a journey, hasn't it? It's also, jeez, it's already past midday. Okay, now's the important part. I've got to find somewhere to live. I'm not really looking for the pine forest. I'd like a winter biome, please, or a desert even. I don't really mind which one, but I'm going to need something that's not green and lush. I want that higher loot level. That's a sick looking peel. Oh, look at this thing. That's actually wicked. Wait, is this the one that has like the pond at the back? I think I might have seen you or something similar before, but nah, this is all completely different. You look awesome. All right, fair enough. Then there's some like, little modern retreat out here, some sort of rehab center for the rich and powerful. I'll leave you guys alone before throw someone throws a stone at me. There's more wa ooh, more wasteland on the left, but oh, that's a long way away. That looks like some desert real far yonder. Although actually, I reckon there's a couple of like drips and drabs of orange poking through the trees up here. There might be the desert. We might have found the desert. Hold on. Crest the hill and see what we got. Yeah, buddy. All right. No sign of any towns, but we found a different biome. That was half the challenge. It's a bit of a long shot, but just up there, there's that little POI nestled in the cliffs, which will have a little dirt road attached to it. So if I follow the dirt road, it's raining in the desert. All right, fair enough. Has happened eventually, I suppose. But if I follow that dirt road, it should, should take me back to a highway. And the highway can take me to a city and I can find somewhere to kick off my boots. Although the storm has rolled in, so I can't actually see where that place was anymore. That's the theory. That's what I'm relying on. Where the one that holds any water, I guess we'll find out given it's pissing down. Where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. There's the dirt road. Oh, that's not ominous at all. That's not ominous at all. I really hope this path isn't leading me into some sort of chasm or something because I do not want to get stuck in a ravine that I cannot get out of. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's... We're going mountain biking on our mini bike. That was sketchy as shit. All right. Yeah, now, sure. Someone made that road. Not sure I know how roads work, but it seems to have done the job. Now nah, we're fine. We're fine. We're not... There's no more mountains in front of me. Just some nice flat tundra. Ooh. Now look, I don't have the best vision of anyone. I got four rides and none of them work. <gasps> I recognize that silhouette anywhere. I was gonna say, I think I can see a couple of like buildings. They're pretty low down, I wasn't sure, but that construction site POI. Oh my goodness, I think we found something. I think we found something. I think we found Well, it's gonna be a city. If there's big POIs like that. It's going to be like a proper city, not just a little outbound town. Oh my god, we might have done it. We might have done it. Can I turn? Oh, I can turn right here. Oh, as the rain clears. I can see clearly now. The rain has gone. We found ourselves a town. There's a bee farm right here, which is good. I don't have any honey on me right now. I have to go and have a little gander at you in just a little bit. Any POIs around here tickling me fancy? Where would I like to live. I need somewhere that's going to keep me safe for at least a couple of days while I figure out which way's up, which way's left and right. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All these POIs look relatively low down and not particularly defensible. I need something a bit higher off the ground, I think. Ah, uh, that looks like a factory over there. Probably not one of those. That's a construction site. Not one of those either. Where's like, where's just a nice easy house? Not, hang on, nice easy house that might, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right, go on then. That attic up there has got my name scrawled all over it like I'm 16 graffiti walls again. Mm, no, nah, that one, that one caught my eye the first in the first place. And you have like a, you do too. I, I love it, I love it already. Got myself a cheeky garage and somewhere to hunker down and cry. It's perfect.
I'm just going to put in a couple of chests over here so you can hold on to all of that for me. I'll keep you on me and I'll take you with me. I might have to change it over later, but I need to free up some inventory space. Old oh, mate's having a bit of a time getting wrapped up in the barbed wire. Hey, buddy. Do you want to have a look at my brand new steel spear? No? <laughs> okay. Never mind. Try this one then. You know what I didn't do? You know what I didn't do before I got rid of my old iron spear? I didn't check to see what the new stats were like. I didn't compare the pair. All of the meerkats would be very upset with me about that. I don't know. I just have to assume that the steel spear is the best one because if it's not, well, it's too late now. See if my change of address forms have been lodged or not. Looks like they have another workstation book. That's like five I found today already. Between all of the workstations out at Tradies, what am I now? I'm 36 out of 75. So the next level... To get a chem station is 50. So, oh, yeah, geez, okay. Uh, new developments are few and far between from this point on, but all right, fair whackers. Speaking of whackers, whack you. Never mind, ain't way too high. Better. All right, I'm going to quickly go harvest up that dingo because I left all my meat behind. I'm going to get snacky pretty soon. I'm so excited, dude. I'm so excited. I've found a new house. I found a new city. Oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good week, hopefully not to die, in the desert. Oh, you are a feral, though, and you didn't die from the first one. Put an extra extra arrow straight through your eye socket. That does worry me a little bit that the first zombie I found in a not high-level POI... I mean, I assume not a high level. I have the hut on, so I can't see what the rating is, but I thought it was just going to be like a regular bloody house, but a feral in the first room... That is a little bit disconcerting. A little bit disconcerting. Drop you. I can hear the gurgles of someone else, but old mate's lost his noggin, so I doubt he's making much noise anymore. Oh, there's one. Sat you back down and keep you down. I need a better bow. I feel like my bow's now letting me down. Is that actually a bookshelf? I didn't think you could get corner bookshelves. I... All right, I guess you can. That's bloody wonderful. There's another Sharp Sticks book. Edging ever closer to making myself that tier 4 iron. Not that I need it anymore. It was a goal until only a fraction of a second ago. Uh, something's going on out here. Are you all right there, champion? Are you just, like, stuck in the fence or something? There's zombies everywhere. Almost like the world ended to them or something. Where are you? What are you doing? There you are. Oh, I've got some... Rather, rather eager housewarming visitors. I wasn't really ready to receive guests at the moment, but all right, fair enough. If you don't have to receive you, you can receive that. Oh, it's so good. I reckon as long as I aim, like just like with the with the bow, if I aim slightly lower than I think I absolutely have to, I reckon I've got a pretty good chance of it. I've just planted Loza in the shrub. Oh, fine. You're fine. It's now a living hedge. Someone's at the door, I feel. Oh, I need to finish off clearing out this joint, though. I've got more to do. I can't be faffing about with you lot. Bottom story is done, so I'm up onto the next one. Can I open you? I can, but I can't see any zombie inside. Oh, this has got to be risky. No, it's just a pile of luggage. No, no landmines, no zombies. Oh, no nothings. I was going to say, I can definitely hear someone in here, but that's right, Spear makes light work of them. I should just go, I should just go all out. I should just stop trying to faff about with stealth and hit all of them down whenever I find them. Hit you in mid-air, catch your bloody later. Oh, it feels good. I'm, it's very rare that I'm actually semi-decent in this game, but when it happens, oh, it gives me the fizz. This house is actually pretty sick. There's like a pool room in here. There was a nice fireplace downstairs that I liked. It's really right up my alley. Yeah, sure. One ear of corn. I suppose this is already my house, so I can take whatever I please and we'll be okay. I'll find some storage for you later. Some vitamins. Nice big screen TV. This is sick. I want this place. In fact, oh, I'm about to live here, but I want to make use of all of this. And if I ever had any friends, bring them around. Yeah, I was going to say that's got zombie closet written all over it. Catch you later. And you... Not quite later. Hang on. I'm sorry, what? What? 
There we go. For goodness sake, third time's a charm. How did that one get blocked? I got sissed up twice there, I reckon. That was no good. I've had a small bit of an issue. There is two ferals up there. Oh, mate's gone goopy. Stay goopy, please. Stay goopy and then dead. And then just you. Yeah, right. You should be gone. Good form by me. I got myself a little bit of pickle there, but we're all right. I did get clattered though, didn't I? Quite badly. I'll whack on a first aid bando. Risk not. You're definitely gone. Take all my arrows back and just check the last of it. Nope, that's it. That's it. It's, um... I mean, look, it's not much. <laughs> it's not much, but it will do for now. This will just keep me safe till I find maybe something bigger and better. I don't know. I'd like to make use of this room, though. This is a nice room down there. I still can't quite break these boxes open in one go, but the future steel axe I will hopefully find definitely will. Harvesting tool and repair tool. Some extra petrol. Thank you very much. And vehicle books. Some oil shell to make extra fuel. Machine gun parts. 762s. Medical books. And last but not least, what's in the big boy chests? 10% more weapon damage for blades at night. Okay, not particularly shabby. I can sell you and take all of that. There we go. The house is ours. It's now my home. Oh, I see that cheeky weapons bag just across the way. Here. Oh. <laughs> all right. I missed the jump, but the ceiling fan caught me. What's in you? Furious fist book and oh, grow some baton parts. I'm completely chockers. You can go away. Take those with me. I need to clear out the rest of the upstairs and build some storage. I'm not... Super sure about what I'm going to do with this place. I, I thought there'd be more room, but it's actually... When you consider all of the angled blocks in here, it's not that much room to maneuver with. But it's fine. It's fine. It can just be a temporary base till I find something better. I don't want to move an awful lot, but this will do for now. Just put all of my stuff into a random box for now. I need to get downstairs and grab the rest of the stuff out of my bike. Plus, there is also the garage that I haven't looted or cleared at all yet. And that's the crickets chirping outside. So that's going to be oh, almost nighttime. It's raining an awful lot out here. I also need to put my Jew collectors down. I need to put maybe even a puddle somewhere to get my free slurpage going. And figure out how to get in and out of this place in a slightly faster manner. Running around in circles isn't a great idea. Was there anyone in the garage at all? There's some boxes up the top. And not really anyone else. Right, that's all fine. Nothing but 10 iron out of you. That's rubbish loot from you. Close you. Open you and get... Still nothing. Ma'am. I mean, I know I'm not rating anything with a particular note. But even so, anything noteworthy is few and far between. See if these boxes in the ceiling of the garage have anything for me. Another Furious Fist book. And... Ooh, robotics and electrical. Okay. That's fine. Any knowledge is always good. I appreciate that one. I will clear out this place at some point. I might even do it now. I'll clear out this joint so I can come and park my mini bike in here. If my house has a garage, it'd be rude not to use it. Chuck in a cheeky double door like that so it looks like it might actually exist. And get my mini bike and back you in. Easy. There you go. Look at that. It's not much, but it will keep my nice mini bike out of the weather and keep its... Rather scuffed purple paint. No, not going to make it any worse at the very least. Right, you give me all of that. Thank you. There's a whole bunch of extra stuff in all of these. I have to make a couple of runs, I think. All the way up to there. I need a better way. I need a better way to get from my garage to my house. Potentially like directly through that window. Yeah, it could work. I reckon I could work lovely. Before I forget to do anything else, I'm going to quickly break these stairs apart because there's actually not... There's no broken path between the front door that's now gaping and open uh, and my upstairs little attic up there. So I break this. If I do piss off a zombie or two or 17, which is probably more likely, then not going to be able to find myself up hiding in the crawl space up above. So let's break you. They can't get up there. I'll put in the ladder or something for myself and that should be all nice and good. It's just the little things. A little bit of forethought, which is rare for me, but it goes a long way. The sun's getting real low. I know that it's usually pretty bright in the way, uh, not the way, say in the desert until very suddenly it's nighttime. You're empty, you're empty, you're empty. All right, job done. Let's get back inside. Say goodnight to the day. What a successful moving day. What a successful day that has been. I didn't have particularly high hopes for it, but I was really, really hedging my bets, but... You know what? We got to where we need to be. We're all in one piece. All our gear is in one piece. 
What more could you ask for? I reckon we're good as gold. Nighttime has fallen out there, but that's okay. I'm up where I need to be. May as well get started chucking some things down to get production cracking. Uh, I could put... Yeah, okay. I reckon this is going to be the area where I have to put most of my construction works. I'll free up a bit of an area over here. Most of the workstations are too tall. That's not quite what I wanted to do there. I thought there would be just like a... Like that, you know? There'd just be like a wedge chip that was blocking it, not... Mm, okay, that's... Not what I wanted to go there at all. Does that hang on a second? That means I also need to break down the bottom layer because that is actually the wedge tip that's blocking it. Yeah, like that. All right. Well, not a particularly auspicious start, but it's okay. We can patch walls. We'll be fine. I think that's just gonna have to do me. It's not exactly what I wanted, but ah uh, well. I, I mean, I suppose at least then I can build myself like a chimney or something on the outside to vent all the gases. That definitely makes absolutely no sense for seven days, but I like to do it anyway. So you can go there, you, that can, I can put a box there for all of my smelting stuff. I'll free up some more space over here for the other forge, because I need my forges up and going to make nails, to make storage. I was about to get you whirring away to put myself the nails. In fact, I probably just should anyway, but I need to make myself the bellows. I do have anvils for both of my forges, which are just in here, but before I left, I did unlock bellows i don't need a workbench to make you actually i just need one more nail well that's a bit ironic isn't it um and a bunch of leather okay i might be able to source some leather from couches or something downstairs we'll see how we go you can definitely have that one though in you are i need a bunch of nails please any nails you can give me i would definitely appreciate boop Five of you. I both need nails for the bellows and for storage. Make me plenty. I've got some storage crafting away in my pockets. So while that's doing its thing, I'm going to quickly see if I can skirt around and find anything that might give me some leather. You look like you made out of fabric though. Not exactly what I'm after, but may as well break it down anyway. I'll tear this place from ship to shiver. If I have to do what I've got to do to find myself some skin. Uh, nothing in there. Probably nothing in the loo either. Don't want to cause too much noise because someone will find me. You. I th I think scrapping you in my inventory gives me leather, but breaking you down with a wrench, I think, gives me mechanical parts. I uh, gives me both. Okay, two leathers out of you. What do I need for bellows again? I needed. Oh, I needed I needed ten more. Ten more. Okay. How many more bits of office furniture do you have and what can I get out of them? There's another one just there. Come all the way back down to the entry to the whole POI. Ooh, hang on a second. Probably don't walk around with a flaming wrench. You might give yourself away just that little bit. You're made out of fabric as well. Any, any dingoes? Any ennies out here that I can quickly nick and skin and use for my own devices? Ooh. There's, there's a lure bag. There's a lure bag. Yeah, go on then. Go on then. Be brave. In fact, there should actually be a wolf inside this little room over here, wouldn't there? I think there used to be once upon a time. I reckon I can make that work. Hang on a sec. Let's go. Let's cause a bit of a ruckus. Where's my pickaxe gone? You. Get you out of the way. No one heard me. We're good. We're fine. Nice and quiet. Sneak on in. Doggo. I hear a chook. I hear an Arlene. Oh, the pup's sleeping. <gasps> he's sleeping. Can I even hit that shot or is he going to fuck me up? I reckon he's going to fuck me up. I reckon he's going to fuck me up. Might have to go like this then. Gotcha. I definitely worked someone up by doing that though. It was Arlene. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll come back for the dog in a second. They're going to go to where the gunshots came from, so I have some time to figure this out, but don't be too brash. Don't rush it. Just take your time. It'll be okay. Old man over there has decided he doesn't want any sort of a bar of what I'm doing anymore, so... Oh, he's very lucky. That plank saved his life for sure. How's Arlene doing? Arlene? Arlene's gone? Okay, well, in that case, then, I'm going to quickly slink on in, grab myself my knife, not my wrench cheeky ammo pile as well for not a lot but that's okay you quickly harvest you up and get all the leather that i oh you 
You son of a bitch. I'm still four short. I did all that for nothing. Stitch up. Genuine stitch up. Can I... Can I do this? Nah, you didn't give me anything either. Damn. Well, you know what? I think I was very brave. I went out in the middle of the night to try and fight a dire wolf, which is like the worst combination of events you could possibly ask for. But somehow I made it through the power of my brand new lever action rifle definitely getting me by. But now that I've done that, I'm going to sit up here and suck my thumb and wait until morning comes to find the rest of my leather, to make myself the bellows I need for both of my forges, do some more work setting up shop in my new base. But more importantly, going out and finding out what is in this new city. It's a big expansive place and I want to know what is going on. We'll have to come back and find out what is going on in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If we're going to talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.